Okay, so don't let them run over you. You've got to fight. That was in reverse. You had me at hello was in reverse. You talking to me in reverse. So <laughs> overall, <laughs> um, someone from your past that you may have been in a relationship with, may not, take it how it resonates, um, they can't believe what you're saying. Like they, they're really upset about what's being um, said. So you could be speaking the truth out about something. Don't let them run over you. So someone tried to run over you. They thought you were a pushover. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's trying to come hopping back into your energy. <clears throat> they see you've gone through a transformation. You went from a tadpole to a frog. Um, you're growing. Um, you've transformed into something and this person, someone may want to come hopping back, but it's only because you're speaking out about something and they're, they want to keep you quiet about it. This person may have, um, bad dental hygiene and it doesn't have to be someone you were in a relationship with. It could be a friend, family member, take it how it resonates. Someone, um, is weak. Someone, um, is losing their strength. So someone with bad dental hygiene, you may be blowing the whistle about them. They're feeling weak. Someone wants to come towards you. They're getting a wake-up call. That is in the upright. Um, let's see if anything else comes out of here. All right, nothing else wants to come out of those. Someone sees you relaxed, um, and it's making them dizzy. They're chasing their own tail. They don't want you to relax. Um, you're just chilling. So, like, someone someone is really upset that they want to fight with you. Someone wants to fight with you. Someone wants you. Someone wants to start an altercation with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> someone wants to fight with you because of something you said. Because they they laid on something pretty thick. They thought they were being slick. A magician is on here. And this is in the reverse, so someone, um, uh, oh man, someone wants to fight with you because you spoke out about the truth about something and they're pissed because they didn't want it. Oh shit, yep, okay, yep. This person did a lot of gossiping and chitter chatter, like a group of birds, like a flock of birds or whatever. Um, they're like gossipers, chitting chatter, you know, like, so someone was spreading a lot of gossip about you and talking a lot of shit and... Um, they're weak and they could be in bad health right now and they're crying. This person is crying because the truth is coming out about them and they want to fight with you. Like someone wants to throw hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Someone is really upset. Like someone is, someone's really upset that, um, you're telling the truth about something. Oh jeez. This person tried to keep you stuck, tried to keep you bound. They may have even tried to get you arrested at some point. <laughs> um, this was someone that you were in a partnership with. You could have been in a relationship. You could have been married or it could have been someone in your family. Oh, no. Someone wants to fight you, that's for sure. You've been manifesting the truth about a situation. You may have had a feeling about something. Um, you may have known something wasn't right. You may have known that someone was hiding something and you're manifesting the truth. Um, this is the page of ones in the upright. So someone who was immature, maybe coming towards you or someone who is younger, maybe coming towards you with some sort of truth. And you've been manifesting the truth to come out. You've been speaking out about something and you're tired of lies being told about you. And someone is going to come forth with some truth. So this could be a younger person that's going to speak some sort of truth. Or you could be younger than this person who wants to fight with you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fighting bronchitis, guys. So I'm sorry for the, like, clearing my throat constantly and the coughing. I can't help it. But this person is pissed. Like, someone wants to come towards you, but they're so mad. They're so mad. 
And that's because they're not an official person. And what they did in the dark is being brought to light. They were working with someone behind the scenes. And everything that you thought or said, um, if you had an indication that someone was lying or being false or saying things about you, you were right. And this person is so mad because, oh my gosh, this person is really angry. Like, really, really angry. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm really picking up this energy. I'm not quite sure if it's like masculine or feminine really yet. Um, I just know that it's someone who is really upset and they want to they want to fight with you <laughs> because you're speaking out about something. Someone was paid to do something, or someone paid to do something, have something done to you. <clears throat> You could do something involving music or you could be creative or you could be an artist and that could be one way you're revealing like secrets or bringing to light something that they were trying to keep hidden is um you're using your creativity um there's a feminine energy that made a mess of something and they can't clean it up this is in reverse it, they made a mess and they're trying to drag the trash out but they can't clean it up whatever mess they made they kind of have to lay in it they even had a group of people working against you with a masculine energy. Um, you could be younger than this person. Um, you could be younger than um, the person involved in this that wants to fight with you. Um, they could have wanted you homeless or someone could be moving soon. This, this man is by a car and he has a bag slung over his shoulder so someone could be moving soon. There, there's a group of people or there's a couple of people here in a crowd that's trying to blend in. So there could have been a couple people just sitting back and observing and watching what has been going down. Um, if you have, um, like, if you're estranged from your family or, you know, if there's been a lot of um, animosity or fighting going on between you and someone else, like, there's been a couple people just sitting back and observing and watching. And they did some reflection about a situation. This is a group meeting and this is being reflected in a mirror. So um, there could be the, these people um, that have just been kind of sitting back and observing and they're taking a moment to reflect and look at the facts about something because something just didn't make any sense. <laughs> it didn't make sense how you're alone maybe maybe these people that are sitting back um and observing can't understand why you're alone why no one wants to help you um maybe they just don't understand why someone close to you would say things about you that weren't true um maybe they don't understand why you're fighting with this person whoever this person is yeah the they can't understand why you're alone. You're alone. You may be around a lot of people. You may not be. But somebody wanted you alone and isolated. And someone is trying to figure out, or there may be a couple people, they're trying to figure out why. Like, what is it that this person wants? Why would this person want you isolated so badly? Like, <laughs> people really are having a hard time understanding what's going on in the situation. It could, because it's not making sense. They don't understand why someone wants to fight with you. Especially if you already are by yourself. You could be in your Queen of Wands energy, your boss energy, you're a leader. Um, you know, you take charge of your own life. You, you're in control. And someone didn't want you to be seen as someone held in high honor. They tried to end you. They may have even tried to get you taken off this earth. But they really tried to put an end to you in some way. And they worked really hard at this. Whoever this person is that wants to fight with you, they should have defended you, but they fought against you instead. So it could be a family member. <clears throat> My goodness. You're in um, a cycle of good fortune. You have good things coming to you at this time <clears throat> or in the near future. You have a lot of conflicts going on. You, you've been fighting a lot of battles because of whatever was done to you. And it was all, like, I'm not going to say every bit of it was due to this person, but this person who wants to fight with you <clears throat> was behind a lot of it. Like, this person was purposefully starting conflicts with you so you wouldn't get an offer. Maybe you've been waiting for an offer, a job, something like that. Um, 
So this person, it could have even been a love offer, but somebody, somebody went through a lot of trouble to make sure that you didn't get something that was going to make you happy, but you're going to be celebrating. So whatever this person did to try to stop you and hold you back, it's not going to work. You're going to be celebrating. So sucks to be them because they're going to, part of their karma is to watch you be happy. <clears throat> they used lies and deception against you to affect your financial stability. It could have affected your employment, your housing. They uh, tried to stop you from being able to make money. They said you were lazy. They said you were unmotivated. They didn't want you to be able to make money, but yet they purposefully did things so that you couldn't make money, if that makes sense. Because you're in your life's calling, and that kills this person. Maybe this person who wants to fight you didn't live out their dreams, but they see you being successful in what you do, and it kills them. You're building a legacy. Whatever you're doing, you're good at. <clears throat> and it really hurts this. Like, it kills this person. It is nuts. Someone seriously wants to fight over this shit because they're being exposed for the lying piece of shit that they are. A perfect storm has been created. This person is walking into a perfect storm that they created themselves. Whatever they wanted to happen for you, it's going to happen for them because they're playing with fire. They were not the best thing since sliced bread. This person is just... Jeez. This person really did the most. Oh, God. And it was about money. Something was about money. So like I said, they wanted to stop you from getting some sort of money. And in an earlier reading I did, um, some of you have like a big financial, um, you know, some sort of um, inheritance or something coming to you. And this person doesn't want you to get it. I don't know if they're just jealous because maybe when their family members passed away, they didn't leave them shit. But like this person really does not want you to get something that's going to help you like succeed and man. <clears throat> something's going to be happening within the next 24 to 48 hours the initials q r s or t could be significant you're going to be fun you having fun in the sun and this person is a relative of yours chip off the old block so um someone in your family was projecting their own bullshit onto you um I don't want to say mother figure because, I mean, that did come out earlier today, but in this reading, um, so far, I'm just getting that it's someone in your family. They ripped you off. They may have already taken some money from you and you don't even know about it. What the hell? Something could be happening for you by summer. Oops. You are a far cry from this person. Even if you are related to this person, you are nothing like this person. And they really did, um, they went to the extremes to hurt you financially. They really, um, man, they really wanted your money. You have a lot of money. Like, you may be poor, you may not have a lot of money, but you, you should. Like, you're supposed to have money. And that's what this is about. Man. If the shoe fits, you may have had some sort of feeling that something wasn't right, um, that this person was up to something. Uh, and, you know, narcissists generally tell on themselves. You know, sometimes um, they'll let things slip and they don't even realize they're letting it slip. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> um, I, I made a few of these... Um, little letters and I pulled them out. This one says you can kiss. So you may be telling this person to kiss your ass because that's the energy I'm getting from that one. So keys, someone may have left you um, keys to a house. Someone may have passed away and left you a house. And that may be what this person doesn't want you to get. bicycle this person doesn't even want you to have a car this person wants you to be like literally not have anything man this person really wanted you to be in despair and desolate and and out of jealousy of course well acquaint so you are well acquainted with this person you know this person very well oh jeez. possible 
they really thought it was possible to accomplish this and keep you in the dark. I'll just pull one more and see what else comes out. They really thought that they were going to be able to accomplish this and stop you from being able to move forward. And they, I don't know how they thought that. That's because we want, we want. They're greedy. Oh my gosh. They wanted whatever you were supposed to get. This person is really upset and jealous that the people in their own family that passed away, maybe even their own father didn't leave them shit when they passed away. And maybe you have a trust or something that was left to you from a family member and they, they're so jealous. Like they're going to end up in their own worst nightmare because of what they did. They really did the most. A Leo could be involved. <clears throat> Pulled the wool over your eyes. The, this person pulled the wool over a lot of people's eyes. They really said a lot of bad things about you. I don't know how to put it any other way. Like, they just really went hardcore at this. Mm. The problem is, is this person is not very intelligent and they don't have the ability to think outside the box, okay? So, whatever they did, they kept doing the same shit over and over and eventually they got caught up in it. People are seeing the truth because they kept saying the same thing about you and it just wasn't making sense. Avoid like the plagues in the reverse. So you may not have had any contact with this person. You've been avoiding them. Maybe because you know they're shady. Um, and this could be anyone in your family. Someone you're estranged to. It doesn't have to be <clears throat> um, a parent. It could be your mother, father. It could be a sibling. It could be anybody. You see the writing on the wall about something. Something could be happening on a Monday. And you are sharp as a tack. You are very intelligent. And that's why these, these people can't get anything over on you. Because you have the wisdom of the ages. And there's a long lost love that may be making a reappearance. A Scorpio could be involved. <clears throat> um, there could be rumors going on about them, or they could be spreading rumors about you, or they're hearing about you. you heard it through the grapevine. There's someone that's hearing a lot of talk about you. Someone wants to live under the same roof as you. Ooh. Um, someone can't move ahead. Someone um, can't move forward because they were tempted. Low-hanging fruit. So this person was easily tempted, and I'm I'm feeling like it's tempted by greed and finances. This person was, um, I mean, a gold digger. Even if you weren't married to this person, even if it's a family member, like this person was obsessed with money. They could have done something on a Wednesday. Um, they could have done something in July, on, on a Wednesday in July, that could be significant to somebody, and that could be um, the date of an event, or it could be a birthday of someone, take it how it resonates. <clears throat> Whatever they did, it, they struck out, three strikes you're out, so they did something one too many times. They struck out with you, with whatever, um, they did it way too many times, and that's what got this person caught up. And that's how their lies are being exposed. But they want to fight you over it. Well, my thing is, is um, if they weren't out being karmic assholes, then they wouldn't have that karma coming back to them, okay? <laughs> I mean, I can't help it that people bring this stuff up on themselves. All right. Let me try these. Alright, something's trying to come out. We'll just see if we can't get it to work. There we go. <clears throat> this karmic person um, caused a tower moment because of lies and deception. This person may even be fighting addictions. You may be in hermit mode. This person wanted you in hermit mode, but you know what? <laughs> if you're not codependent um, like they are, it doesn't bother you. You might not mind being in hermit mode, and you may be re-emerging out into the world to find out um, you, you're a rich bitch. You might be finding out you're a rich bitch. The Three of Cups came out again. Double confirmation. You're going to find out <laughs> you're about to be a rich bitch. I'm sorry. That's You're going to find out you got money, and this isn't for everyone, but you know some of you... If you're on the same timeline as I am, you're about to find out that you're about to come into some money, let me tell you. Because whatever you've been working on, you've been working really hard at it. So this could be related to something that 
you've been working on yourself or the inheritance or both. So you could have money coming in from multiple sources. Whatever you work hard at, you know, it, it works out for you because you're in the upright. This person wanted you alone and in despair, and they, they're alone and in despair because they're a miserable person. They just like to cause drama. They, like, thrive on that soap opera bullshit. They need a job or something. You closed out a cycle with this person. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, they brought a lot of bad luck on themselves. You're coming out of bad luck, but it's about to hit them. person really is kind of nuts. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so you came out as the Queen of Wands, and here is your Divine Counterpart, your King of Wands, and he wants to give you rest. Who wants to tell you um, it's time to take a break? <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. So you do have someone that's coming in that you've been manifesting, and it is your divine counterpart. You may have dealt with your false twin before, but your divine counterpart, he's a leader, he's a boss, he's hes like you. He's like your match, just in male form. And, you know, not everyone has a twin flame, but, and you might not be exactly like, you may be opposite from each other, but you're both in your boss energy. And this person knows that there was an injustice done to you. And this karmic energy, the one that's in reverse that wants to fight with you has been placed under judgment. And there is a masculine energy. So this could be a father figure even. <clears throat> so um, there could be a father figure, um, a mature male that's under judgment. So this could be a father. And he is a karmic. So whether it's your mother or father, depending on what energy they're in, um, like I said, either one, you know, you can flip the rules as it resonates, but this is a male energy and they're a karmic energy and your parents can be karmics. They're meant to teach you lessons. Some of them should, some of y'all should never have to go through what you went through to learn those lessons because you just didn't deserve shitty parents because this person tried to keep you stuck and from moving forward and it's being brought to light. All the shady shit that they did to you is being brought to light. And this is a masculine energy. So, you know, we had the mother one earlier. So this may be for you males out there. Um, you know, flip the rules as needed. But yeah, some, some masculine figure may have worked with a feminine figure. But somebody, um, somebody tried to stop you from getting information and they acted immature. And this has been coming out too. So like I said, the mother came out earlier and this is a masculine energy so there's a masculine energy that's older that acts like a goddamn child they didn't want you to get an offer they they got judgments against you they lied they could have used the courts against you this is like almost identical oh my gosh okay so for any of you males that are watching if y'all thought the mother one wasn't for you i guess this one is for you um, or this could be a feminine, you know, that has, um, daddy issues, or this could be an ex-lover, um, could be someone you were married to, but yeah, um, you got to take it how it resonates. Sometimes parts of the message applies, and sometimes you just have to flip the rules. The rules, the genders are, um, fluid. There is masculine and feminine energy, but, you know, you, you always have those males that could be in the little bitch energy, or you could be, um, you know, dealing with someone who is feminine, who... Um, is high up on that testosterone for a little while. <laughs> take it how it resonates, you know? You gotta take it how it goes. <clears throat> there is someone that was trying to keep their identity hidden, that they are connected to a group. So there is someone, and I know my lighting's a little off, but there's someone in this group that is trying to keep their identity concealed, but they're part of a group and this group is in the upright and they wanna help you out. So there's someone working behind the scenes. You may know them, you may not know them, but somebody knows what's going on. I should have turned my other light on so the lighting would be better. Ooh. This this karmic masculine energy could have liked um, liked the ladies. They could have uh, been into prostitutes. 
Ooh, or they could have been a prostitute themselves, you know, male gigolo, you know, it, it happens. <laughs> Some people make money the shady way. Maybe that's how mommy and daddy met. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, with the shitty mother that came out earlier, you never know. You really never know. <laughs> I can't help it. They could have party together. So, um, yeah, this, um... There's a masculine um, that likes to party, and he likes the ladies, so, yeah. And he wanted to keep it hidden that he was part of a group. And here you are just chilling by yourself, like, you're just minding your own business, and these people are going to such lengths to ruin your life, and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> here you are, masculine. You're just, you're happy to be here, you're just chilling, so... Um, masculine men if you're watching you could be in hermit mode you're just chilling by yourself you're waiting for the right lady too you know i'll give you a shout out like it's not always about the ladies it's just easier for me as a reader since i'm a female like it's just you know it's easier to speak in, in that way but you know you flip the rules <clears throat> so masculine gosh i have a fly that's irritating the shit out of me um upright okay so this is you emperor this is this is you in the upright you turned your back on someone you had a decision to make and so maybe you um left your partying fr friends like maybe you had some friends that you were hanging out with that weren't good influences on you and maybe you just separated yourself maybe you were um giving up some addictions maybe um you know <clears throat> i don't want to go too far into it and you know tell your business but you know, you may be, um, you may have, uh, hung out with some people who were not the best for you, and it looks like you may have turned your back on them, and you made a decision to isolate and heal yourself, and, um, maybe kick those addictions. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you walked away, like, this masculine energy who's in the upright, you walked away from your partying ways, you're ready to settle down, you want what is meant for you, and I don't blame you. I, you know, you're waiting for your divine counterpart, and um, you may have someone in mind. And, you know, you both maybe could use a rest, maybe a little vacation. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to grab these again. There we go. So someone lied to get a judgment against you. And this is like the third or fourth time this has come out. The three of cups. I, I've used like three different decks. And each time the three of cups. You are going to be celebrating. You're going to be happy. You're going to find your happiness. You, you have your happiness coming. <clears throat> and it could be with the queen of pentacles. Or you could be your queen of, and your queen of pentacles energy. Um, <clears throat> and someone tried to stop you from reaching that. You know, if you've been struggling financially, someone didn't want you to reach that. The Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles, take it out, resonates. And someone was really going hardcore at trying to stop you from that. But, and that's why they got judgments against you. But guess what? You're going to be celebrating. That's the Three of Cups. That's the third time that's come out now. Something is over. It's done. Whatever these people were trying to do, they took swift action to try to stop you from getting something and it's over and done with you have a new beginning with death in the upright comes new beginnings you have a new beginning and you are in high honor so if you are in high honor you're going to be celebrating and you got something big coming to you because some somebody lied <clears throat> all right let me just pull couple more words and see if anything else comes out so refine refine came out and choose which so you had a decision to make in masculine or feminine take it how it resonates you had a choice to make and you're refining yourself you're working on yourself you're working really hard to make yourself a better person so like i said if you turned your back on a group of partying people you know if you were a player you're ready to put that down and you want to settle down you want something that's going to make you very happy you want peace right so that, that just goes along with it you want peace you're ready to just relax and enjoy life you just want to live 
and you wanted it for so long. So this is something you've been thinking about for a really long time, okay? So um, I hope this helps, folks. I hope um, you got some insight, and um, I hope you have a good Friday, all right? Have a good day, guys.